So we were on this slide last time. The key thing to notice is that the coordinator and the router are functions. Okay? While the FFD and RFDs are capabilities. Functions can be placed anywhere as long as there is a capability for it. Right? Functions can be packaged in anything. So when you buy some box, it may have five functions in it. So it's not the name of the box. Capability is actually somewhat in some sense the name of the box. Alright. So FFD is capable of routing, is capable of coordination. And being a leaf as well. This is what the question last time, right? So FFD can do all of those functions. RFD can do only some functions. Which is being a leaf. Right? Trust center is a function. Right? Now it is independent. So basically it is not clear as to who can do it. Basically trust function doesn't have to be RFD, FFD or anything like that. It could be just a computer which could be a leaf as well. So this is a separate kind of function. It's a security function nothing to do with the wireless whatsoever. Right? Trust center is where you put your certificates, deposits your, your secret, secrets. Right? So when you want to log in, actually when we go into the network class, we go into a lot more detail of the trust center. Here I just want to tell you is that every organization, for example, here we might have a computer which is very well guarded, which has all the secrets that we don't want anybody else to get. Okay? And generally when you want to get authorized, you go to that place, you tell them that, look, Rajan inputted this password and this name. Is it valid? And that will say, yeah, it is valid. And and then I am authorized. So all these things are kept at one place. That is the trust center. And gateway is a function as well. Gateway is basically that you can go from this network to the other network. And um, so depending upon which network you want to go to, if you want to go to IP, you have to speak IP on this side and whatever you are speaking on this side. So, you know, gateway is <coughs> protocol translation. So any question about capability versus functions? Okay, so the question is, is trust center the same as a manager in what? Wireless heart. In wireless heart. Okay, we haven't gotten to wireless heart here, but I think, I mean, like now from my memory, the wireless heart manager has the same function like a coordinator, more like, I mean, basically you have a central coordinator for the whole network. And so I don't think it has the, I mean, maybe it has the security, but maybe it is separate. I, I will have to wait under that question. Okay, yeah. You mentioned the trust center being only one. Is that like a, a one per like cluster? Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, let me correct myself. When I say trust center is only one, trust center needs lots of security. So you don't keep one. I mean, you could keep more than one. But you have to keep synchronized, basically. And so, so they act as one. Okay. Physical copies, you could have many. Anything else? Okay. All right, so here are the topologies. A star is allowed, tree is allowed, cluster of trees is allowed, and a mesh is allowed. Right? So looking at the topology, you should be able to see which one is what, right? Which is a mesh. And what happens in the mesh that doesn't happen in anything else? No. The loop. Basically, there is a loop right here. And um, everything else cannot have a loop at all. So, so that basically requires some more, um, some more work, basically, how to find it out. And but it has advantage, self-healing in the sense that if something breaks, the network continues. Here, if something breaks, if any link breaks, you know, part of the network is gone. Right? In this case, if this breaks or that breaks or that breaks, things continue. So the protocol architecture actually in some sense it is similar to Bluetooth and in some sense it is very different from Bluetooth. But you will notice that basically we have physical layer, MAC layer, network layer and then what they call rather than transport they call it application support sub layer and then there are application objects. Now the similarity with Bluetooth is that we had profiles in Bluetooth. So you had have set profile, you had a GPS profile or whatnot, right? So the same things are called now application objects. The name is different, 
but basically application object is related to a particular application. So they have a list of applications that they have standardized. And if you are doing light bulb, you have to follow the light bulb profile. You know. So if you are so whatever device you are, you have to follow your um, object. And um, the application support layer basically is everything that is common between all the objects, all the applications. So we might have a little bit more detail later on. And then on the side, we have security services and the management services. The next slide actually has more on all of these. So let's go to the next slide. Application objects is like remote control application are, you know, I already gave you two or three examples of, you know, headset and so on and so forth. And the name for them is also called endpoints, ET. Endpoint is another name for profile, application objects. End node is a device. So again, there is a difference between the function and the node. So, so endpoint is a function. End node is a device. Right? So in a device, you could have my five functions, you know, six functions, as many functions as you want. So that's the difference between the node and the point. Clear? Right? So it can have up to 250 objects, which means that it can have 250 endpoints. So you have endpoint and endpoint. Let's say endpoint 6 is a light. Endpoint 1 is a switch. Then, you know, if you connect them together, then you can switch on the light. Zigbee device objects. And so that is basically control management of the application objects. So this is basically the whole network management is called Zigbee device objects. So there is one object with one application, let me call it, or one point, let's call it, that is the network operation, right? So that is control and management of application objects. It initializes the coordinator, security service, uh, and everything else. So that is GDO right here and then GDO public interface, GDO management and this could be called GDO security service. Application support layer serves application objects, network layer does the route discovery which we will talk a lot right after this. So we will tell you how the route happens and GDO management is the normal network management and security is normal security. We, we don't go into too much detail here. but if you know anyone management and security, then that's basically what they do. Is you can start objects, you can connect different things to different things, and you know keep track of what is happening, get this, get the statistics. That is management, right? So the application layer. So the uh, the, the endpoints are the objects, and, and the GDOs. There are 256, 240 are the the one that you can use, EP0 is ZDO. So endpoint zero is the network management. I mean the network whole uh, network running of the net network itself. 241 to 254 are reserved, and 255 is broadcast. So basically, as you can see, eight bits for the endpoint addresses, and all ones is a broadcast. All zeros is a for the whole network, and then some of these are reserved, and the rest are available for you to use as a number. So they basically every particular application that they could think of, they have given a number. And when you get onto a Zigbee network, you say, well, I speak number six, seven and 13. Each endpoint has an application profile is a light on off profile. Zigbee forum has defined a number of profiles and user can develop other profile attributes. So each profile requires a number of data items and each data item is called an attribute and is assigned a 16 bit attribute ID. So, for example, even if I want to control the light, I want to say that please turn off at half the intensity. So, half is an attribute, right? Intensity of the light. So, each profile uses a lot of values, let me say, as the numbers or something we call them attributes. And these attributes are also standardized because if you want to put a number, then there is a bit express a number. If you want to put something else, there is a bit express that, right? Volume, sound volume, or, you know, things like that, you know, or in some cases, I don't know how it works, but it could be the number of speakers, you know, stereo or non-stereo. So all of these are attributes. Clusters. So a group of attributes 
is called a cluster and um, and so generally I mean you don't just go and say I can speak attribute 1, 2 or 3 or 4 you, you just take a whole cluster and you say well I implement this whole cluster and there is a whole cluster library and um, and so basically most of the devices will implement a cluster and um, and the function and, and basically the, the, the Jigbee forum has defined the whole library of these bindings classes of establishing a logical relationship so we, talk, we will talk about that more little bit but later on we will see that there is a parent and a child particularly in a tree you see there is a parent and a child so when you become a child of somebody you you have to bind right you have to associate that okay I will. so so you know that anytime you want to send something you will send it to your parent and GDO is the Jigbee device object which is the network manager in some sense so this actually GDO management object and GDO combined or GDO alone might be closer to your wireless heart manager that you are talking about but we will talk to we will come back to that when we come to wireless heart um, but um, GDO uses device and service discovery commands to discover details about the devices uses binding commands to bind and unbind endpoints and the network management commands for route discovery and so on okay so basically the whole management of the network finding the routes who is connected to whom who, what is number what number is where so if you want to send something to object not to the object um to the node number five then we need to know where the node number five in the tree is right so all that information is with G application profiles they actually call it application objects and uh, these are smart energy profiles, commercial building automation, home automation, personal care, telecom, remote control, industrial processes and many, 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 many applications. So, I mean, you know, I don't have to list all the applications. So, you are already, if you are doing any remote control in your home right now, it is quite possible that you are using Zigbee already. Um, there are few applications with Bluetooth and some with Wi-Fi, but if there isn't say Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, then it is Z-Wave or Zigbee. Z-Wave is very close to Zigbee but it is not Zigbee. Okay. And so Zigbee is the standard. So it is being used for everything like smoke detectors, lights, water meter reading, remote control reading and so on and so forth. 